In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this glitch effect using your warp transformation tool. Let's begin. We're starting with a canvas size of 1920 by 1080. First, let's turn this black. All right, and I'm going to be using the GIMP logo for this demonstration. Right click, edit, copy, right click, edit, paste as new layer. And I'll leave a link in the description to download this specific image. Now I want to go to layer to image size, right click, alpha to selection, create a new layer. Okay. And let's select our colors going with a purple pinkish. Okay. Edit fill with foreground color. Now you want to add another new layer. Okay. Let's change this color to this light blue. Okay. Edit. Fill with foreground color. Now move your original logo layer to the top. I'm going to turn that off. Select none. Now on your blue layer, grab your move tool. Hold down the left mouse and control and shift it over. Now go ahead and turn that layer off. On your pink layer, same thing. Hold down the left mouse button and control and shift it over. All right, turn the layers back on. It actually looks pretty good. All right, perfect. Now turn off your black background. Right click on your layers area and you want new from visible. I'll put that on the top and I'm going to turn off my other layers. All right. Now grab your warp tool, your warp transformation tool. And you want your settings to be 50 on the size, 65 hardness, 65 strength, 20 spacing, interpolation linear, now just hold down control, left click, and drag the mouse over the image. There it goes. And as you can see, it creates this glitched effect. And you can do it however you want, how many, however many lines you want. It's up to your discretion how glitched you want it to look. Now for the warping to take effect, you have to click off the tool. So let's go back to our move tool. All right. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate this layer again and click on the bottom, on the bottom layer, go to filters, blur, and you want a zoom blur, a zoom motion blur. We're going to lower this blur factor a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay. Now I'm going to turn on my black background just to see what that looks like. So that looks pretty good like that. I'll go to filters. Blur, pixelize. All right, that looks pretty good. But let me let me change my block width and height a little bit. So we can make it look better. That looks real nice to me right there. Okay, and there you go, making the glitch effect with your warp transform tool. If this has helped you, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.